start with the arms coming up and down, opening up through the shoulders. And you are going to need some weights. At one point, there are dips for your triceps. And you can either use your step, your bench, a sturdy piece of furniture, uh, a kitchen chair works well. And if you don't have any of those things, just use an overhead, uh, do an overhead tricep extension. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to start here with some squats and lifts. Just starting to get that whole body moving. That's it, down and up. Good, swinging those hips from the back to the front, pushing through the heels and squeezing your glutes. Good, just like that. And again, let's go for eight and up and seven. Good, that's it. Keep it coming here for four and three, two. I want you to start to lift one knee up, up, down, up. Good, start to warm up through those hip flexors and up. Squat and stand. Good, that's it. For four, three, two, and twist it out. Side to side here. Good, just like that. Let's go for about four more here. Twist. Shoulders, hips, and balls of the feet so everything's coming together. Good, tap those in steps. Good, that's it. You got it. Let's go right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me a nice little spider walk. I want you to see you walk out on your hands. Give me one push up, walk back, stand up nice and tall. Let's walk it out, drop in, walk it up. Good, couple more here guys. Drop it in, down, and back it up. Woo. That's it. Last one here, let's hold it. Good, that's it, and squeeze. Pulling up one arm at a time. Good, that's it. Squeeze and release. Let's go for about eight more here. Eight, seven, six. So we have no weights, we're just focusing on our core strength. That's it. Last one, and jump it in, good. Ready to our first set. So we have goblet squats as our number one exercise and bridges. So you're going to need a weight for your goblet squats and you're going to also weight the bridges. So grab a heavier weight because you're only holding one weight for the goblet squats and then you're going to take that same weight bring it right across your hip area to weight your bridges. And then our cardio exercise, high knees.
here because we're here for 60 seconds now. So I want you to dig your heels in, get your glutes to the top, rise your hips up as high as you can by digging your heels into the floor and actively squeezing your glutes at the top of the movement. Keep it going. Now when we come up from this, we're going to go into 30 seconds of high knee runs. And it's going to be up as quick as you can. Three. 
your cardio mover. Starting with our spider walk to push up, okay? Work at your own pace. You're gonna start 30 seconds, spider walk to push up, and then you're gonna follow that up with 60 seconds of plank rows to kick off this round. I'm gonna go ahead and get my weight. Woo! Keep them nice and close to make for quick transitions. Ready? Here we go. 30 seconds, go. Walk it out. Push up. All the way up to the top. Walk it out. Nice big push up. You can always drop your knees on the push up if you need to. Drop in. Woo! Down and up, get that chest right between your elbows. Good, let's keep this going, guys. All right, listen up. Grab your weight. Pull. One at a time. You're here for 60 seconds. Woo. Remember what I gave you for an option. Standing up, you can be here. If you're not feeling the plank row, you're here. This is your workout, you choose. Good, you're here for 30 more seconds. Get it done. Whatever you're gonna get the most out of, that's your choice today. Good, come on. Oh. Stay in it, guys. You can do this. Woo! On the next timer, we're going to start our mount climbers for 30 seconds. All right, let's get rid of those weights here. We're running the knees in. Woo! Stay focused here, guys. Keep your butt down.
right, get ready guys. Weights on your lap. We're here for 45 seconds. Ready? Down and up. Working through the back of those arms. Woo! Ooh, baby. Starting to feel that challenge coming in. That's why it's a challenge workout. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to make you work harder. Sustain that pet pressure. That's what's going to change the shape of your muscles. So you push through the pain. Get another five reps in. Come on, guys. We can do it.
fine. That's a victory. Never forget it. How we doing, guys? Woo! Shake it out. Heart rates are still up, guys. Don't stop moving. Woo! If you feel like every muscle in your body is burning, your lungs are burning, you did it right. How about that? That's how it's supposed to feel. The more you do it, the more you're gonna know how to manage that feeling, get through it, your heart rate will be more controllable. But here's what happens. If you don't do it, you're never gonna cross the finish line and you're never gonna achieve the goals that you set out to achieve. Consistency is key, showing up. Maybe your version of this workout today looked totally different than mine. That does not matter. The point is, is that you showed up you moved your body from start to finish. I've trained hundreds and thousands of people throughout my history of training. And that's how they show up most of the time. They show up confused, given bad advice through the years, hopeless at times, desperate for someone to reach out to them and say, I can do this. And that's what I've done for my clients. I've been able to tell them, yes, you can and get them consistently moving through the process. And that's how you achieve results. The clients that threw the towel in and said, I can't do this, which really just means you won't, because you can't mean you won't. And that's a mindset. They still don't have results, okay? So if you're ready for success and you're ready to cross the finish line every day of your life and build confidence in yourself, keep coming back. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.